Hey, give me one second. Get some things together. We're gonna get rocking and rolling. I just gotta find in one item real fast. One second. Uh, let me see something. We're gonna get this started. Ah, oh, there we go. I had another one, just making sure. Yep, 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 yep. One second. I got it. I got you locked in, bro. I got you locked in, bro. I got you locked in. All right, give me one second, family. We're going to get this started. I just have to take this call. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Peace, 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 peace. I want to thank everybody for logging in real fast. Let me get things together, man. I had a long day. I don't have nothing too much to share with you today. I'm just going to give you some history. I'm going to give you some books to research because I tell you, my brothers and sisters, it is a written gospel and you must know the written word. You must know all the language. You must know who the people are. And I'm going to show you pictures from the museums because I'm a student at the British Museum. I also have some of my mentors from Oxford and Cambridge University where I study at, and I have all documents of pictures and sculptures and things. And I'm like, I tell my brothers and sisters, I know who I am. I pray that you know who you are and don't get in with what somebody's telling you. And I always ask questions. If you're part of some church, ask questions. So before I get in, uh, into anything, I'm going to show you some pictures of some of, of the Moorish statues and things that we need to know. And I tell you, brothers and sisters, we have a rich history. And I'm going to give you a little history of this Moorish science. Oh, what happened? Let me see. Oh, my back. 
My bad. How am I do this thing? Oh, there we go. 33, 44. All right. I don't know. I should be doing this different, but I'm just going to be sliding through. Oops. Stop. This thing is all sensitive. Well, I'll hold it up then. How about that? Let me see which way I slide it. Let me figure out which way I slide this thing. Okay. There we go. Ah, go back to the other side. Work with me, y'all. Uh, my wife be upgrading me all the time. I'll be like, dang, babe. Okay. It's another brother. This is stuff that you might not be seeing. This is stuff that they have in the museums and thing in the British Museum. I'm going to give you some books to reference. I'm telling you, we must know, man. When people, you looking in the Bible, you looking for Jesus Christ, there's no one. I tell you, that's Greek mythology. Is based off of real history. That's replacement theology. Serapis Christos. Alexander the Greek created that. The first European uh, a pharaoh. And then in Italy, they had Caesar Borgia. The Italian replacement. Come on, man. This ain't no fake stuff. Come on, man. You see the toppy, my Eastern Star sisters? The Eastern Star is you. You Eastern. You a star. You ISIS. That's what they don't tell you. They go to blue people. You be thinking they fake. They from Ethiopia. My book I touched on Peter Moon. The uh, the uh, the Montauk theory. Or the blue people. I think I touched on it, but I'll touch on it later. Somebody want me to touch on it later? I will. I'm just showing you, brothers and sisters. Look at the look at the Moorish brothers. Come on, man. What? Oh. Hey, come on, stop it. My fingers all in the way. Go back. There we go. Come on. Montezuma from the Caesar Chipotle. See, that's what we are when they sing a song. That's when they cutting the more head off. I'm telling you, man, I'm going to give you books. This story is written, man. It's history. And I tell you, I do this on college campuses, man. Most, when I do my lectures on the college campus and at all the European churches, it's packed. Because they like you just telling history. And if they wanted to paint themselves their color, here go a picture. An ancient picture. Come on, man. They know how to paint things the, the other color if they wanted to. Research the Russian icon. One of the books I have from Vladimir Ivanhoff. And to show you how they whitewash the pictures. Tell you, man. And if it don't matter, well, why they did so much to cover up the truth if it don't matter? You hear certain pseudo-westernized European perspective tell you, oh, it don't matter now. Well, if it didn't matter, why are they covered up everything, man? And gave you all replacement theology. All things that's fake. I'm telling you. What I do? I didn't mean to do that. Let me make sure I get these pictures right. Hold on. Hey, what happened? Oh, okay, here we go. Let me go. Let me go back to where I was at. St. Mark. Look how black the brother is, man. Come on, man. We got to stop playing. Demorian. Come on, man. Not slaves, brothers and sisters. Another one example of the black and more art. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? They got them all in the museum. All the artifacts. I'm telling you. They know all the science. That's why I said, man, I study all the science. Look at this. Family crest shield. You don't even know what family crest is in the coat of arms. Because somebody's telling you some replacement story. Your church is supposed to be a place, a tabernacle of learning. We're supposed to be teaching the kids real history, real biblical history, agriculture, 
science, math, reading, astrology. That's what I teach. That's what I teach at my lodge. And that's what I'm trying to bring back to the city. I'm telling you, man. Look at the Moors, brother. Look at the young picture, young children, to show you when black history come around, you can talk about more than just some slaves. That's why they start you at in college. It's the westernized uh, education. They started you off with this reading list in the in the in seventeenth century. You know, when when they say you were slaves, statue of King Afonso the third who ejected the Moors for good in twelve twenty three and twelve thirty one. Research this stuff for yourself. You always want to research the researcher. Always. I'm not here to convert anyone. I know who I am. And I challenge you to know who you are. And I challenge you to know who your God is. Because in that biblical text, there are many gods. Look at that. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, brothers and sisters. I'm going to see another picture of the Moors, brother. I'm going to show you a statue that is so out cold, though. Let me see. Let me find it in this one. And I got so many, man. It does it. It is. It's funny. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. We in school, man. That's what school is. For so you can see the pictures for yourself. For so you can ask questions. Look at the boy brother on his horse. Beautiful clothing. Beautiful head dressing. Come on, man. Do we have a rich history, man? I mean, he go paintings of the Moors brothers in first century, circa. You know what I mean? I want to show you this one picture though real fast before I get into this. But I have so much. Now, we always talk about the European Santa Claus and all that. Research the icon of Moors Apostle of Christ, St. Peter. Santa Claus was a European Moor by Anjuan Anna. They go Santa Claus, the European, the black, the Moor. I'm telling you, man, this is all in the museums, in the British museums, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you. That's how when I come, when I do anything, I come out as an official. I'm a royal priest, man. I'm not. Hey, hey babe. This is just what it is. This is all law. It's a whole nother story. That your preacher not going to tell you. Now I'm about to show you this European soldier. Bow to the Moorish king. You can look this up in 1915. Look at that. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Look at that. Uh-huh. Family crest on that shield. Look at the design on the clothes. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Let me put that, let me put that, let me put that close to you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, sisters and brothers. I'm telling you, man. This is just history. This stuff is in the museums. When I start showing you... When I do my uh, doc series from my library, as soon as it's finished getting built, because I have over 10,000 books, and I do my doc series when I go out to the museums, you're going to be amazed of all the statues. You're going to be amazed of all the pictures. I'm going to show you the, the Louisiana Purchase map, how the, how the south is up, the north is on the bottom, how everything switch. I'm going to go to the, in Virginia and show you uh, 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 the Hebrew Hill, how, they, how the Hebrews, Israelites had their own, the Boston Museum where they have King Menakaru. With his queen, I'm going to show you all masonry comes from this science. It's high science. It's, it's Israel and uh, Ephraim. Memphis right, 99th right, which I am. We don't have to go outside ourselves for no knowledge. That's what we do. We always go outside ourselves for our knowledge. I have the same education that you would go out. I have that same education. I stood on my square and told him, like, hey, one, I'm not Greek. I'm not Latin. I'm coming from my perspective. And I proved it with real history. With the research. That's all we have to do, man. We have to stand firm. That's the picture right there. I showed you my book. Everybody be telling you something scary, something baphomet. I showed you that's Elysius Levi. It's spelled backwards. It's spelled Kabbalistically, meaning the temple of David. You're getting caught up in all spookism. It's no such thing. If you follow me, I'm telling you, do your simple research. I, I, I lecture on these at college campuses, at universities, and, 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 and it'd be packed. And when I come to the city and try to do lectures and all I ask for a donation, nobody come because black folks think they know everything. And I hate to say that. I hate to say it, but it's just the truth. And we're going to keep things truthful. We're going to keep things honest with each other. We don't have to sit up here 
and be fake and say things just to uh, say, oh, well, that wasn't nice. It doesn't matter. Because that's why a lot of the preachers in the church, you say, oh, well, he just nice. Well, nice is not good. It's not enough. I don't care if someone nice. That doesn't make you a pastor, man. We have to know some things, man. We have to teach people. So I'm going to get into these little couple teachings, man. And but I just want to touch on some things that's going on today. And people think things are just popping up and new. I'm going to touch on some things. You might not like it. Oh, well. But I'm going to touch on some history. This thing called NAMBLA. The North American Male Boy Loving Association. That you might not even known about. And when I did a lecture on this on campus, people was like, what's that? I'm going to show you in history what this is all about. So you can't think, oh, this is some new thing. Nothing is new. Nothing is new. Remember that. But I, I got to start off with this prayer before we jump into this. And it's my prayer for positivity. And I pray that I think peace, speak peace, and that I am peace. I pray that I think truth, speak truth, and that I am truth. I pray that I think love, speak love, and that I am love. I pray everything I attract carries high, harmonious vibrations and intentions. May the light within me, may the light within you serve as a beacon for those that need it. Amen. Amen Ra, Aya Asha Aya, Shalom Malakim. Now, when I say Aya Asha Aya, my brothers and sisters, that's I will be what I will to be. Cross-reference that in Exodus 3.14. We have to will things to be. That's why our words mean something. If we're going to speak things, if we're going to say things, we should mean it. Because we can will those things to manifestation, my brothers and sisters. That's the spiritual element we are. So when I say, Shalom Malachim, that means peace be upon you. Prosperity, health, wealth. And you respond, Alakim Shalom, meaning unto you peace, my brothers and sisters of the Most High Yah. And when I say Ashe, it's an African word, or Yoruba, a word meaning power, command, authority, the ability to make whatever, whatever one says happen. As so it be, so it is, so mote it be. So I say Ashe, 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 Ashe. We put things into the atmosphere. Come on, man. Don't let no one get you caught up with just reading 1 Timothy 6 and 10 when they say the root to all evil. No, it's no such thing. It's the agent, the agent, the agent. Just like analogy I use or symbology of alcohol. Alcohol is, it can't do you any harm when it's in that bottle. But once you get in that system, the agent, it does something else. So it's the agent of the money. The money is nothing. It can just sit there. That's why I want you to cross-reference Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 19. You read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 19 put that in your bosom and spit that back out because it's the agent everything you do is righteous my brothers and sisters don't let nobody tell you things that is is unrighteous the only way things can be unrighteous if you're doing it if you are unrighteous the agent so so bust them in the, that, that satanic spirit in the head when they come with their own interpretation of exegesis not exegesis exegesis their own interpretation their own subjective view of the scriptures which you cannot do. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, my brothers and sisters of the Most High. You must know that. I tell you, it's words that you need to know. Occult is Latin. It means to hide, to conceal. It's secrete, to cover up. That's why I teach the occult, the Gnostic text. The, Gnostic text. the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha. The Apocrypha the, is Greek. It means to hide away. Latin hide away. Here in this book, in the Apocrypha, where it tells you the heathen, heathen mean nations, Gentile, tried to whitewash themselves in the history books and Maccabees. If you follow my page, look on it. I'll tell you what scriptures. You need this book. Ask your preacher what this is. This was in the 1611 King James Bible that everybody loves so great. It was in the 1611 King James. They took it out. Who? The other, the European Westernized uh, Council of Narcia, Constantine, because you had the, the Moorish Constantinople, 
Research that. Constantinople. I tell you, everything is a stolen legacy. I told you, I'm a scholar. I'm not just a regurg uh, re regurgitating something. I'm not trained. I'm educated. I study in all the doctoral libraries. I'm giving you history. No matter how mad you like it, I can care less. You don't have to like me. I'm not here for likes. <laughs> I'm not here for likes. I'm not here for no one to like me. My wife like me. My mother like me. My dad loved me. I know who I am. I found Nirvana. I'm telling you, and I pray that you find it. Come under this auspices. We must be taught by the, his elite, my brothers and sisters. But esoteric is Greek. The E, S, E, I, S equals eso, which means within, the inner meaning of things. Ask your pastor. He probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Then you have the exoteric, the exoteric, exoteric, meaning the outer layer or understood by the general public. The general meaning, like with my Mason brother, when they see the G right in the middle, they say, what that mean? They think God. I say, my brother, whatever lodge you're going to, you need to leave. Because that means Gnostics. That means secret meanings. That means a plethora of things, depending on the context. Don't you know this, my Mason brothers? You talk about you a 32 or 30, a degree Mason. That's just a level above freeze. Your 33 is when the, the, uh, the water freeze. That's no science. You think you know something. You don't know nothing, my brothers, because you're being trained by the ones that put their foot on your neck. I'm not here to sell you nothing, but I'm a real not-for-profit, and I'm a real organization, and I have real members, and we have membership dues. That's it. It comes with books and everything. When you're a member, you get the lessons. I teach lessons from real historical books. Come on, man. But theosophy, theosophy, any of a number of philosophies maintaining that a knowledge of Yahweh may be achieved through spiritual ecstasy, direct intuition, or special individual relationship. That's why the scripture says you must have a personal relationship with the Most High. It must be an intimate relationship. That's why wisdom and everything is considered as the she. Because it's an intimate relationship, my brothers and sisters of the Most High. Gnosis is the knowledge of spiritual mystery. <laughs> Theosophists. Which I tell you we are. We are Theosophists. Theosophists. T-H-E. And I'm breaking it down in syllables. Because I'm a linguistics. I'm going to show you what these words mean when it's broken down. The T-H-E-O-S equals... In, in, in late Greek, it's God. In late Greek, the S-O-P-H-O-S equals, equals wise. You look this up. So the word together, theosophist, is wise concerning God, which is Yahweh. In Latin, occulter, secret, conceal, based on seclare, which means to hide. It's an adjective. And the noun from the occult, covered up, from verb, occori. The knowledge of spiritual mysteries is gnosis, is a noun. Origin is Greek. Gnosis equals knowledge, equal gnoskion, G-I-G-N-O-S-K-E-I-N, -E equals to know. <laughs> so now I'm going to tell you Greek, apocritin. A-P-O-K-R-U-P-T-E-I-N is hide away. Apocryphos, hide away. A Latin, apocrypha. Apocrypha scripta equals hidden writings. <laughs> Come on, man. Esoteric, intended for likely to be understood by only a small number of people with the specialized knowledge or interest. The specialized knowledge or interest. This is a science, man. This ain't just nobody getting up, just talking some stuff. Then the scripture says the Messiah is going to talk different. He's going to speak different. You let somebody tell you the Messiah's name was too holy for you to say. Who told you that? Why? And he came from amongst your people. The Messiah is the Messiah from amongst your people, man. I'm from amongst my people. You know my name. You know my parents. Why would you let somebody tell you oh, oh, his name was too holy for you to say? Why? See? Replacement theology. And all black folks say, and I'm calling in those Negroes until you understand who you are, 
Because to be a complete person, you have to have nationality and religion, which is your spirituality. We afraid of who we are. And the exoteric, the exoteric with the EX is Greek for the outside, the outer, the exo, the exotero, the exotericos, doctrine or mode of speech intended for or likely to be understood by the general public. So the exoteric is the literal meaning. Esoteric, the inner meaning. Come on, man. It's science, man. Your preacher that's up there slobbing. Flat out, man. Your preacher that's up there slobbing. So I could care less, man. I'm not here for likes. I'm here to teach, man. I'm here to teach. So I'm going to give you a little bit about this history because we think, we just think things are just happening and it came out of the blue. You know, and I tell my brothers and sisters, man, nothing, nothing happening today is osmosis. It happened yesterday with the ancients. So I'm going to touch on this thing going on with all these. You see a lot of these people that's working at Disney, these men get caught up, these pedophiles men with these boys. You see uh, uh, the one European uh, uh, Republican, he's talking about he, he's against a homosexual marriage and he talk about the perfect marriage. He get caught with little with, with, with uh, teenage boys. And we thinking this, and we thinking it's something. This ain't nothing new. I'm finna give you some history of this Nambla thing. You research this. And then I'm gonna give you some ancient history of this of this thing. How this was their thing, my brothers and sisters. And when I say it there, whoever participate in it has nothing to do with your color. Remember that. I know who I am. I know who my God is. And I challenge you to know who you are. Because the satanic spirit, it has no judgment of color. My brother was killed by a a Negro color man. That's what I call him. Because if he was an Asiatic more brother, we would be able to talk things out. So I tell you right now, the satanic spirit has no prejudice over color. Remember that. Just because you see a brother with a fair zone does not mean he's righteous. It means he should know something under that. Remember that. He should be humble. He should love. He should be willing to teach. He shouldn't be a uh, 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 confrontational. I told a brother the other day, he was like, man, do you want to do a debate? I said, brother, let me tell you something. You will never get me in a debate. I don't debate with no one that should be a student. I'm not here to debate no Negro. I'm not here to debate nobody. I do lectures. I do lectures on college campus. I do lectures in churches. I'm not going to debate nobody. I'm not here to change nobody or, or be hard with somebody. You got to be crazy. This is not what this is about. We stand strong on biblical truth, on historical truth. That's why I say I'm not no religious, man. I'm a spiritual man, and I study all law, all history, all religion. Can no uh, a Negro preacher come with me and say they know the Bible? Let's talk. That's why I told you yesterday they use Psalms 105 and 15, and they take it all out of context. I'm telling you. So listen to this. This Nambla, this voice of the North American Boy Love Association. Oh, you ain't know that, huh? You research this. You got old people, when you see them on TV, you don't know who they are. And then one of the dudes is John Burnside, Harry Hay. Huh? Remember that name? Harry Hay and Jim Kepner, marching in the spirit of uh, a Stonewall demonstration, New York, 1994. I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to read it. And then I'm going to show you some other stuff. See, yeah, man. See, we got to know this history, man. And stop playing. Watch this. Watch this. History tells the story of humanity. Narrative, history tells the stories of individuals or political entities or schools of thought interacting usually as the participant in notable events. Social history tells the stories of everyday folk and their societies and cultures as they develop and change through time. Woven through many of these stories are the story of man, boy love. Huh? What? What? From famous couples such as Oscar Wilde and lower Alfred Douglas, huh? Huh? To cultural institutions such as that of ancient Greece, pederasty, to cultural concepts such as China's passion of the cut sleeves, to iconic figures such as Francis Bacon and Walt and Walt Whitman, from the earliest known homoerotic uh, couple, Shemikar and Akhenaten, to medieval. Anderson, Trouble Bars, to the 20th century figures such as Allen Ginsberg and Arthur C. Clarke, Man Boy Love spanned every dimension of history, both Western and non-Western. 
Oh yeah. I got a couple. Let me let me tell you about watch. I'm gonna pull a couple up. Watch this ancient one. I'm gonna give you the ancient one first, and I'm gonna give you some new stuff. Let me see where they at. For the work. The man they tried. Which one? The famous man. I think it's the 15 famous men. Let me see. Watch this, my brothers and sisters of the most high y'all. This is just history. See, y'all do all this stuff on campus. We don't know. We just go around and get mad and act like we know something. I say, brother, there's no reason to be mad at history. Watch this. All right. Famous men who had boy lovers. Pindar in 514 to 438 BC, a Greek poet. Research this. Get your pens. His beloved was a beautiful young boy. Theoxus of Tinnitus in whose arms he is said to have died in the theater at Argos. He once wrote of himself, I like wax of the sacred bees when smitten by the sun and melted when I look at the young limbs of boys. Alexander the Great, 356 to 323 BC, Macedonian ruler among the peace offerings sent to him by the Persians after the death of King Darius III was an uncommonly beautiful boy, Bagos, B-A-G-O-A-S, who had been castrated at an early age to preserve his tender young looks. According to one ancient source, Bagos had been loved by Darius and was afterwards to be loved by Alexander. Huh? What? Catalyst, 84 to 54 BC, the Roman poet. In his poems, he liked to boast of his conquest of young boys and bragged that once after surprising a boy and girl in the act of making love, he mounted the boy to please Venus. Callalus, barely uh, 30, when he died, expressed disgust for the homosexuals, except those who were active lovers of young boys. See, this history. And you thinking things are new. This ancient history. Hardian, H-A-D-R-I-A-N, 76 to 138 A.D. And A doesn't mean no after death. It's Latin, mean in the day. Roman emperor, his great love was Anatus, a 15-year-old boy he discovered on a journey from Bithynia when Antonus died by drowning at the age of 21. Hadron was grief-stricken. He, he had the dead boy defiled, found a city in Egypt to honor him, erected statues in honor of him throughout the empire, and commissioned sculptures, paintings, coins to be made bearing his likeness, the resulting court of Antius, A-N-T-I-N-O-U-S, excited such awe and admiration that in that that it uh, threatened to overshadow the growing cult of Jesus, which is Joshua of Nazareth. According, accordingly, excuse me, early Christian sets went to great lengths to vilify both Hadrian and his boy lover. <laughs> Come on, man, it's all Greek. I, I ain't done. That's why I said this school. You went to school. You get, they, they told you about Greek mythology, about uh, about some Socrates and Plato. They didn't tell you where all that came from. They didn't tell you that was fake. They didn't tell you all them horns is the symbol of the brain, the hippo compass. They didn't tell you all their name was made after Egyptian pharaohs. That's westernized pseudo-education. Strato, S-T-R-A-T-O, second century Greek poet. One of the most cheerful Glutius, boy chasers of the ancient world. Strato was the editor and primary author of the Musa Perilous, an, an anthology of over 200 uh, epigrams devoted to the subject of boy love. He blatantly confessed that he liked a boy's body, hot from the park, all grimy, and the sight of his flesh rubbed down with oil. This is what it's saying. Nice and artless, none of the pretty... Enchantment laid on by your merchants of the Romantic. Look this up, brothers and sisters. Leonardo da Vinci, 1452 to 1519, Italian painter, inventor, scientist. At the age of 38, Leonardo adopted a beautiful but a uh, uh, ruggish 10-year-old boy nicknamed Salah or Celia, S-A-L-A-I, which means little devil. His presence in Leon his presence in Leonardo's home has perplexed scholars for several centuries since Sali, Salah, whatever you want to call him, however it flows off your vernacular. I'm not going to get in, in a linguistic argument over the name, but it's spelled... Wait a minute, my thing keep jumping around. Wait, where I go? Okay, but it's spelled S-A-L-A-I. 
His presence in Leonardo's home has perplexed scholars for several centuries, since Sully was neither servant nor apprentice, and since Leonardo himself described the boy as a thriving, lying, obstinate gluten. The two were inseparable companions for nearly 26 years. Michelangelo, 1475 to 1564, the Italian sculptor and painter, Michelangelo was in his late 60s when he met Cecino, C-E-C-C-H-I-N-O, De Brasi, D-E-I-B-R-A-C-C-I, the charming and beautiful 15-year-old nephew of one of his friends. Of the boy's beauty, he wrote, with his face, God wished to correct nature. Brasia died in 1544 at the age of 16. Why am I, man, stop jumping, man. Stop jumping. I'm sorry. Okay, at 16, Michelangelo designed the boy's tomb and composed no fewer than 50 songs or poems mourning his death. Other boys thought to have been Michelangelo's lover were Gerardo Perini, a strikingly beautiful young male model whose relationship with Michelangelo was the subject of much gossip at that time. Tommaso Cavalieri, an intelligent and handsome young nobleman who remained one of Michelangelo's lifelong friends, and Fibo di Poggi, P-O-G-G-I-O, a luckless young uh, male prostitute of whom Michelangelo wrote, up from the earth I rose with his wings, and death itself I could have found sweet. Christopher Mar Marlowe, 1564, 1593, Enlist a, a dramatist. Marlowe's tastes are best characterized by a famous poem, All They Have, excuse me, All They That Love Not Tobacco and Boys Are Fools. I mean, I got, man, it's so much. Christopher Marlowe, Harcho Alger, H O R A T I O A L G E R, a, a United States novelist. Listen to this. As pastor, as pastor, as pastor of the Unitarian Church in Brewster, Massachusetts. Come on, man. Sorry about that. This thing just keep jumping. Okay, as pastor of the U Unitarian Church in Brewster, Massachusetts, he befriended many of the local boys and took them on afternoon seaside picnics, which to the outrage of the community turned out to be uh, uh, many orgies in the dunes. When the truth came out, Alger, A-L-G-E-R, was arrested and run out of town. John Addington Simmons, S-Y-M-O-N-D-S, 1840 to 1893, English author and historian. He believed that beauty came first before virtue, and as a fellow at Magdalen College, he became infatuated with one choir boy after another. Suffering a nervous breakdown at 23, probably due to a large part to sexual conflicts. That's what they saying. And see, this, 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 this is their writers. He went to Switzerland to recover his health and there apparently had an affair with a beautiful 19 year old. It is a splendid sight to see him asleep with the folded arms at the vest chest of a young Hercules, innocent of clothing. Later doing historical research in Italy, he had affairs with various young gondolers and the like. Oscar Wilde, Oscar Wilde, Irish uh, dramatist and wit. He once bragged to a friend of having had love affairs with five different boys in a single night. That's it. I don't want to read no more of that. No disrespect to no one. Frederick Alfred Krupp, 1854-1902, German, a German industrialist. Described by one of the writers as devious and excuse me, disingenuous character, Crump set up a lavish private pleasure palace in a grotto on Carpri, where he entertained underage Italian boys. That's enough of that one. Constantine Caffey, 1863-1933, Constantine C-A-V-A-F-Y, Greek poet, living in Alexandria. He frequented, he frequented the houses of prostitutes who were strong well-built Greek boys, most of them poor and with uh, uh, rich jobs during the day, earn extra money by having sex with homosexuals. That's enough. Why you think all the Greek pictures, my brothers and sisters, the pictures, they're all naked? See, this ain't me. This science. This history. All of them. Every single one.
Every single one. You see the, the little babies on the pictures. Research in, 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 in New York, the Roman priests, when they gave all them babies uh, 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 STDs from sitting on their penis, talk about they circumcising them. That's not Roman Catholic stuff, man. Andrew Guide, A N D R E G I D E, 1869 to 1951, French author. He had his first homosexual experience when he was 23 with a 14 year old Arab boy in Tunisia, in Algeria. He fell in love with his 15 year old servant boy. Guy wanted to take him back to France, but Guy's mother objected to the idea of a Negro in the house. When he was 47, Guy fell in love and had a long lasting affair with a 16 year old boy, Mark Algret. A-L-L-E-G-R-E-T, who later became a well-known film producer. Come on, man. We in school. This is just school. This is just school, y'all. This is just school. I hope you ain't afraid of school. If you are, hey, the I ain't for you. I told you. Now, watch this. Somebody famous. I told you, man, this, that's why I said I'm a philosopher. I'm not here to be talking about no man. And this man said this. And this man said that. Man, please. I ain't going to no, no man. I study all law. Don't no man control me. And when you get let some man telling you, you pray to some man. That's, that, that's Roman Catholic stuff. That's Vatican. That's that father stuff. If you follow my page, I teach this. Walter Whitman and Bill Duckett, man boy lovers. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. All in all in the museum and the libraries, man. This is history. History must be recorded, man. I'm telling you. History must be recorded. Ain't nothing to be mad about. You talk about you know something, you know who you are. You don't know, you don't know nothing. You don't even know history. We don't even know history, man. We're going around arguing about who somebody else is. Why? Why are you arguing about somebody else? So in the Bible, brothers and sisters, ask your pastor. Ask your pastor. Because see, we see this is a good teaching today. And I ain't gonna stay long. I'm just gonna touch on these books, but I want you to know. You see, this not this not gonna go fast, but let's see what a Nicolation is. Oh yeah, see this is this is scriptural stuff. That your pap a Nicolation. Some of you may have known what it is. If you did, great. If you didn't know, I'm gonna tell you. N i c o o l a i t a n s Nicolations or Nicolations, follower of Nicholas. A set mentioned in Revelations 2 and 6, Revelations 2 and 15. Those deeds were strongly condemned. They may have been identical with those who held the doctrine of Baal, Babylon. They seem to have held uh, that it was lawful to eat things, the sacred to idols, and to commit fornication, and opposite to the decree of the church that rendered it. Acts 15 and 20, Acts 15 and 19, the teachers of the church branded them with a name which expressed their true character. The men who did and taught such things were followers of Balaam, 2 Peter 2 and 15, Jude 1 and 11. They, like the false prophets of Pithro, P-E-T-H-R-O, false prophets, man. False prophets, my brothers and sisters. United brave words with evil deeds. Come on, man. Nicolations. Nicolations. Don't be like them Nicolations, man. <laughs> Don't be like those Nicolations, man. But there's more science, man. It's, it's a culture thing, and we must know. I tell you that these biblical books, this book right here, this Book of Mormon, this is all about you. The Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, the Pearl of the Great Price. It's all about the Lost Ten Tribes. It's, it's explaining that they're Indian and Hebrew, that they're one. I teach this stuff, man. I know Mormons, man. I broke that Bible down. They say you're 100% right. I said, I know. You can't bamboozle me. The Latter-day Saints, they talk about their Ephraim. No religion is Ephraim. That's a people. 
Latter-day Saints is religion. This is the stuff I go over on campus. The view of the Hebrews, this is where a lot of that stuff come from. Ethan Smith, I mean, uh, the Book of Mormon by Ethan Smith, the view of the Hebrews. I'm telling you, man, hey, it is what it is. Don't make me no difference. If you like it or not. The story of the Book of Abraham, mummies, manuscripts, and Mormonism. It tells you how John Smith, when they found all the artifacts and the mummies and things, and they take things and hide them, and they put them in the library, and they put them in the museums, and they write fake stories. It's replacement theology. But the history of the Indian, of the American Indians, I touched on this earlier about Adar, one of the, one of the European professors that stayed with him for almost 15 years. It's close to half of this book is dedicated to the to the, the fact that the Native American tribes are descendants from the lost tribes of Israel. Huh? Adar inserted these an analysis in part to cater for the popular demand that was asked at that time. From the mid 17th to the early 19th century, the notion that the Native Americans were directly descended from the Israelites of an ancient times was the phenomena then. Many scholars postulate that the Book of Mormon was partly inspired by Adar's history. Huh? Yeah. So when your brother, so when you when you get when you get your brothers and sisters, I don't care what religion you are, uh, a church of God in Christ. I don't care if you go to some big stupid mega church. I don't care if you're under some a uh, Muslim, some nation of Islam crap, whatever it is. That replacement theology. We have to go with all law, man. I'm telling you that Westernized perspective, Islam is right when it's when it's no dogma. The true Christianity is right when it's under no dogma. The dogma today, Islam, is Arabism. Christianity is Europeanism. Just flat out, man. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that your nationality is real. Your nationality is real. It has nothing to do with no more science. More science is joining the more science temple to be Asiatic. That's one thing. That's great. Don't get me wrong. But see, it's another thing. When I tell brothers and sisters, you must study, 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 study law, study civics, study history, study first century history. You must study. You must study. You must know truth. You just can't gravitate to something think you got one thing and think that's it. Then you stop studying, studying and close your heart like Pharaoh. You must know law. I know more. I know more attorneys. I know professors. I'm telling you, I'm in a whole different dispensation. So when, we, when I talk about claiming your nationality, more Noah Drew Ali did do a solid at one particular time. He was taking you out that slavery thing. He didn't write nothing. He said he was bringing something back to us because we got caught up in slavery. United Nations. I ain't going to go on. I'm going to highlight some things. It's claiming your nationality, who you are. This is real stuff, man. This ain't no Moore's thing. The proof of life and proof of claim of, 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 of children's a certificate replaces the birth certificate. Real law, man. United Nations. Man, I'm nothing fake. The numbers on, you know, you can call and ask talk to it yourself. See what I'm saying? See, when people be getting you caught up in their religion telling you something and not telling you all history and you just jump in something and jump into it and, and been on uh, uh, molested yourself, been assigned some papers, don't know attorney and talk about uh, you're not an American citizen and you just sign some crap and you ain't no citizen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You stateless. <laughs> There's no such thing as no sovereign citizen. Any fool more telling you that you should run sovereign citizens. You ain't nothing by yourself. Don't let nobody get you caught up telling no dumb stuff. I'm telling you, I'm here as an official. I'm not. The games is over, man. Somebody telling you something. Do not detain the list. You going to jail. You driving out license. You going to jail. Flat out. Flat out, man. Do it if you want to. We are law abiding citizens. I'm going to touch on it. This more science is, is no criminal stuff. It's, we are law abiding citizens. This is science. Esoteric. Just like high masonry is. This is no male club or no boys club. This is a family thing. We're supposed to be operating as a nation, organization. Come on, man. Y'all don't understand. You're not a nation until you have a language, a nationality, a culture. I'm telling you. It's just facts. It's just facts. Research the, research the, uh, the Universal Declaration of the Human Rights. Research that. Research the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I can't read everything to you because I don't have time. If somebody want me to touch on it later, 
Send it in. We sh I should have my own school. I can teach this. We can have our own teaching, man. The Circumcision Reference Library. The Declaration of the Rights of the Child. The Declaration of the Right of the Child. Article, Article 15. Everybody had the right of a nationality and a right to change it. United, United Nations Declaration of the Right of the Indi of Indigenous People. Research this stuff. This ain't me. Let me give you the this other one. Let me see. Let me see. Let me read this for you. Let me, see. Let me get to it where it says it at. Okay, bye -bye. Bye -bye -bye. I want to read something to you real fast. All right. Uh, no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his nationality, of his nationality, nor denied the right to change his nationality. Huh? You see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? You don't get caught up in no spookism. You don't get caught up in nobody telling, trying to sell you something. I just, I'm a real non-for-profit. I'm a teacher. I don't tell you to go do your job for free. I have real degrees. This is my profession. I'm a paid lecturer. I'm a non-profit. I teach this. Come on, man. The Law of Freedom and Bondage in the United States by John C. Hurd. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See? People be just be talking about stuff. That's good spookism. Get your butt locked up. And not gonna tell you history. I'm not just no just talk, man. This is what this is my life. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know I have I have friends that's attorneys. That's bays and L's. You know? Come on, man. We got to know real science and real law for we can know what we're talking about. So nobody can get you caught up with their lies, their religious lies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm going to give you some books. I hope you have your pen. Cuz I'm a, I'm going to share some things. I can't show you the map, but I'm going to I'm going to share you some things. And one of the things on here I call checkmate. And it's going to be a chart. I'm going to go over it. And I have the charts. I'm going to sell them. You can get them from offline, but why would you want to buy them offline and your brother have them for cheaper than offline? I have my own label and I print my own shirts and things. I tell people I'm a, I do hats and everything. So I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some books real fast that I want you to research. And I told you when I get in my library, I'm gonna go over all these books historically. But one of the books is Imperial Rome: Great Ages of Men by Moses Hadas H A D A S, The Heritage of the Anglo-Saxon Race by M H Gayer G A Y A R, The Bible and the Anglo-Saxon People by William Canton, The Basilica. B-A-S-I-L-I-C-A, a St. Mark and the Golden Altarpiece. Basilica, B-A-S-I-L-I-C-A, a St. Mark by Maria da Villa Urbana, M-A-R-I-D-A-V-I-L-L-A, U-R-B-A-N-I. Atlas of the Viking World, Cultural Atlas by Facts on File. And see, the reason why I'm telling you the Vikings is because when you research, when I show you all these books and the stuff that's in the museum, all out of they're all Moorish people. They're all dark skinned racist. And you say color don't matter. If color didn't matter, why they tried to cover it up so much? I'm telling you, man, history doesn't lie. So then it's going to be this map. You can look it up on Amazon. You can get most of these books on Amazon that I'm going over. You can get most of these books on there, but not if you can't get them. That's why I tell my brothers and sisters. I have my nonprofit. I get books cheap from my classic books. It's a, it's a book author that write all ancient books. It's called Classic Books, and I get them. You can get them too. But I just have access to get them straight from the company. You know, wholesale. That's what I'm saying. You can buy them, but you're not going to get them wholesale. But the heritage of the Anglo-Saxon race chart. Did you hear what I said, brothers and sisters? Oh, yeah, I said this. This is like checkmate, like a lot of my charts. But this chart is checkmate. It's checkmate. I'm telling you, this chart is checkmate. Heritage of the Anglo-Saxon race chart is tracing genealogy from Adam through Abraham and the sons of Jacob. Complete genealogy from Judah and the royal house of David through the Irish, the Scottish, the English monarchies to Queen Elizabeth II. Clear account is given of the genealogy of the house of David to, to Jesus, which is Yahshua, the Christ, the Messiah, explains the line from David to Joseph, husband of, of Jesus, which is Yahshua's mother Mary, 
and the line from David to Mary gives the various passage of scripture that verify the conclusions presented in the in the um, in the scriptures. And it's making this uh, excellent reference peer review reference book to all students of the scripture, to all people that think they know some about the church and, and don't understand who the people are. And they were real people. Let me see if I can just show you a little picture of it real fast. I think I'll pull it up. And then I'm going to show you a couple other ones. They're on here. I'm telling you, man, it's checkmate, man. That's all. We got to know this truth. It's a biblical truth, my brothers and sisters. It's a biblical truth. We must know this. Okay, here we go. I got it. Come on, my internet's low, but I'm going to show you these charts. I'm going to show you a couple of them. Amazing charts. Amazing. Amazing. I'm going to show you this one fast, real fast, but... It's kind of blurry, but when I when I get it uh, printed and I bring them, I show I everybody be able to get one. It shows there are only two families. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, family, you got a checkmate. It's a real gospel. Hebrew Moors, they all the same, man. Asian, really, really Asian, really black, really more. Flat out, I don't care how no one feel. You got a whole pseudo story, westernized perspective, a replacement theology. Hey, and it's just, just what it is. I, I, like I said, it does, I'm not here to convert anyone. I know who I am. I challenge you to know who you are. That's it. That's it. Because this gospel must be interpreted by his elite. That's all I'm saying. Let me show you this other one. Uh-huh. For you, for, for you won't get it all twisted. But you can stop getting these lies. Maybe I got to turn it to other. Oh, there. Ooh, yeah, this one beautiful. It's only two houses. I'm going to go. I'm pretty for the people. These checkmate charts, man. For people can erase that garbage. It's checkmate, man. Checkmate. Checkmate. What you say, honey? A checkmate, man. I'm telling you. All doubt. You thinking they not know Israelites. You Hebrew Israelites. You going around talking about it don't matter. Well, if it didn't matter, why they tell you the big lie? Why everything tried to be replaced? Why is everything replaced? Tell me that. Tell me that. Historically. I'm not here, like I said, I'm not here to uh, convert no one. I know who I am. I know what this gospel says. I'm just interpreting the scriptures. Hermetically. Hermeneutically. The right way. Then that's all I'm supposed to do. Regardless if it clear room or fill it. That's all I'm here to do. Yeah, family. See, you've been lied to, bamboozled, hoodwinked. Yeah. Scott and Britain, all, all Hebrews, all Moors over there in first century circa. Circa. First century circa, brothers and sisters. Come on, man. And then you let somebody tell you it don't matter. <laughs> then you let somebody tell you it don't matter. I'm going to give you more. Then you let somebody tell you it don't matter. And I say, wow, that's sad. That's sad for you to let somebody tell you it don't matter. Here go the family tree from Adam as to the prophet Muhammad, Sah, in the majestic Islam. For all my brothers that be screaming that Muslim stuff and don't know history. I'd I, I be telling, I said, man, you under that, Ar under that Arabism, let it go. Then they say, then... Or, or then they say they ain't under Arabism. And I say, well, when you keep going around saying that your prophet is some man, Fire Muhammad, and then the first thing they turn around and say, oh, well, he's mixed. I say, see, brothers, you would love giving a, a European lie. Mixed with what? Palestine, German, Russian, Poland. Tell me. That's the lie we get. We always, somebody always outside us has got to bring you and tell you who you are. And then we promulgate that crap. We mix it. Oh, Fire Muhammad, bring it tell the black man. He's this man. A European? We been through this law. You forgot about Nova Drew Ali? See, they, they, they try to erase this man from the history books because he was telling people that you're not Negro. You're not color. You're not black. All this illegal stuff these fools doing with these feds on, that's not more science. Those just Negroes with a hat on. Flat out. And I'm saying it. Those just Negroes with a hat on. Out there screaming, out there doing illegal stuff, driving with no license, do not detail it's in court, just arguing, squatting in houses, illegal. Flat out. I don't care what nobody say. Yeah, see, 
to the brother be talking about Islam stuff and not studying and don't know no, no history or nothing. Ask your Muslim brothers how they read the Bakari Hadith. I bet you they'd be like, what's that? Where, where Muhammad called your blood a razor head. He named all his black slaves. Say if you dream about a black woman, it's an evil omen. Now, don't make my words. That's what the Quran say. You read it. That's what the Bakari Hadith say. Now, I can care less. I can care less, man. I ain't here to convert nobody. I'm here to teach for you can stand strong on your square. And you can stand up against the satanic spirit. Revelation 12, 15 and 6. Let me give you this. Let me give you this. I don't care what Bible you got. Revelation, what I say? 12, 15 and 6. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood and the earth helped the woman and the earth helped the woman that verse 16 and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth out of his mouth now watch me break this down esoterically because your preacher is not going to do it. he's going to break it down just to explain his own way exegesis not exegesis his own understanding his subject his subjectivity Meaning his made up contextualization. Listen to this. Listen to this. And swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. What flood? The lies. That been, we've been going on. That replacement theology. Acting like it don't matter. This stuff is recorded. It's history books. It's museums. It's archaeology. It's bones. It's research. You can't get. You can't lie on the DNA. You can't lie on the archaeology. The earth is helping. The stuff that you can dig up, the stuff that's found, man, is proof. You're looking for the wrong thing. You're looking for some Jesus Christ. You're looking for, you got to be looking for the right name. I promise you. Jesus Christ is Greek. It means an anointed one. Come on, man. Prophecy. Prophecy. I gave you Revelation 3 and 9. Let me read it to you. Don't get mad at me. This is the Bible. This not me. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come to worship before thy feet and know that I have loved thee not. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Huh? That ain't me, man. So why is books took out the Bible? You may ask to confuse you. Why you can't ask your preacher? Because he don't want you to know and he don't know. He just gonna, he just regurgitates something right back at you. And it's entertainment. And if that's what you like, fine. But is the entertainment helping you? Uh, Matthew 10 and 5. This is what the Most High telling you what not to do. These 12 Jesus, which is Yahshua, sent forth and commanded them saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and in any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. Verse 6. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come on, man. Stop playing. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. Zechariah uh, uh, nine and six. When it talk about when it talk about that bastard thing. Oh, it's another book I want you to get. Write this down. It's called The Nazis World War II, Volume Twenty One by Robert Edwin Herzen. H E R Z. S T E I N. And then see, he wrote in the Times. And see, Hitler was saying who the real Hebrews were. All the way then. Most of this, most of his uh, uh, speeches was in German. Most of his speeches was in German. But he got pictures of who the Hebrews is. He's telling you what who the Hebrews is. Get that book. You don't gotta listen to me. You don't have to listen to nothing I say. Look at read it for yourself and look at the pictures in there and look what Hitler is watching. He's showing the film. And he tell you who the Hebrews is. In German, he call them Baft, Bafters, B-A-F-T-A-R-D, which means fake Jews. That's what he says. He call them Bafters, B-A-F-T-A-R-D, which is a fake Jew. That's Hitler's words. I'm telling you, man, what he did, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not saying what he did wasn't right or whatever, but I'm telling you what you don't know. I'm not here to argue with nobody. I can care less. I can care less how anybody feel. I'm here to interpret the law. That is it. We are law-abiding citizens. Listen to what he say about the bastard. Zechariah 9 and 6. 
man, this is good stuff. I love this scripture. I love this. I love his written word because he always tell you this way or that way. That's why I said you can't be lukewarm. You're either with me or not. Family friend or not. You're either with me or not. What you afraid of? And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Mm. Yeah, man. Come on. Yeah, man. It's another book called, um, what, what that book I want you to know? The Six Black Presidents, Black Blood, White Mask by Osset Bakufu, A-U-S-E-T. B A K H U F U. If you want the book, you get it. It's a it's a hundred something dollars. But see, if you was a member, if you was a student, you would have these books because your membership. That's what our membership pays. I share things with my members. I get things printed for nothing. Also, get a book called Treasures of the Vatican by Marzio Calvisi. M A U R I Z I L C A L V E S I. You got to get that. I'm giving you history books. The Five Negro Presidents. Oh, you didn't know this? By J. A. Rogers. This is one of the books we researched in college when a lot of Europeans thought that J. A. Rogers was white. I had to do the history on J. A. Rogers. Shook them up. America, history in black and white. See, this is the stuff I got. People be looking on YouTube like, oh, man. Alan Beck was talking about that book. I said, man, you don't got to go to Alan Beck. This is stuff I teach. I've been teaching on this for years. Come on, man. By David Barton. It tells you all the blacks in history, in the judicial system, all that. You know what I mean? Fought in the war. I teach this Morris science. The Morris American, Lida Ali. Now, let me tell you something for my brothers that thinking this Morris science, some, some criminal. This is science. This is supposed to be shared. Every true and divine prophet must contend with the initial rejection and harsh treatment. Their message are almost always universally rejected at first and never the message that the people desire to hear. The Bible says that because we want to be wooed. I think that Ecclesiastics uh, uh, or what is it, Ephesians 4 and 14, when it tells us we shouldn't be swayed back and forth like a sail in the wind. We should know for sure. We shouldn't be just caught up in no pageantry. But in view of things, we have this to say. Of all knowledge, self-knowledge is important. But God-knowledge is vitally important. One without knowledge of self is like a tree without roots. But one without knowledge of God has yet to become a tree. Come on, my brothers and sisters. This is a science. So what I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters of the Most High Yah, to take one place in the world, one must of necessity, be, be determined to act accordingly to law. Only those that abide within the law, our law abides citizens, can demand equal protection and application of the lawful directives to the body, the people, and government, which are regulated by the law of the land and to which the law gives life. All others are criminals, aliens, undesirables, exist the outside sheltering parameters of the law, are outlaws and classify and threaten as enemies of the peace and retain the bearer's rights under these constitutions. See, we shouldn't be bashing nothing. We should just be telling the truth of the scripture. You can believe in anything you want. That's what I tell my brothers and sisters. I'm not here to convert you, but when we talk about all law, the law and theosophy has no size and we stand there in our square. That's it. That's why I said, for a while, I'm, I can't, don't contain me. I'm blessed. I'm able to do lectures all over the world. I just teach law and I leave. Not, not concerned about your religious belief. More if we don't bash no one religion. We don't bash any flag. We don't preach separation. We are American citizens, man. The mystery of the seeking brotherhood of the East. I'm telling you, when I tell you about the logos, when I tell you about the Hebrew God, when I tell you about missing things that was took out the text, all mystery of the silent brotherhood of the East, we know this. And I'm going to show you, uh, uh, Jesus received the mystic name and number and passed the, one of the adapt chambers. I'm going to give you this, and I'm going to show you in other biblical books that they took out. And I'm going to give you that, then I'm done. I told you that ain't going to be long, but we're in school.
Your pastor should have Q&As. He should open this up to you so you can know who you are. So you can get your spirituality right. So you can get your nationality right. But Jesus received the mystic name and number and passed the first brotherhood test. The master took down from the wall a scroll on which was written down the number and name of every attribute character. And he said, the circle is the symbol of the perfect man. And the seven is the number of the perfect man. The logos is the perfect word that which creates, that which destroys, and that which saves. The Hebrew master is the logos of the Holy One, the circle of the human race, the seven of time. Come on, man. We got to get this science right. We got to get this science right. That's why in the, in the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple, it touched, it touched upon the 18 missing years of Jesus, which is Joshua's life. Your preacher tell you, oh, you ask where the 18 missing years? Because it's 18 missing years. The genealogy of Jesus, which is Yahshua, with 18 years of the events, life, works, and teachings in India, Europe, Africa. The events occurred before he was 30 years of age. These secret lessons are for all of those who love Jesus, which is Yahshua, and desire to know about his life, works, and teachings. This is what this more science Quran is about. And I hear a, a Negro more talk about it's written in cold. What? English? How are you going to call yourself a more and you don't even have the book? And you don't even have the Bible? you just going around preaching separation. Bull crap. We know all law. This high science, man. He we, we build bridges, not walls. You're getting this all twisted. The, we, the reason these lessons have not been known is because the Muslim, MOS, aliens of India, Egypt, Palestine had the secrets and kept them back an outside world, and when the time appointed by Allah, which is all law, they they loosened the keys and freed the the secrets, and for and for the first time in ages, these secrets have been delivered in the hands of Muslims in America. Now, remember what he said: divinely prepared, divinely prepared. So when brother be getting some stuff, he plagiarized. He ain't plagiarized nothing. He just didn't. He just didn't give the right authorization to. Uh, uh, he didn't reference it right. Like when I finish my master and I'm doing my doctoral uh, studies, you have to reference everything right. You have to write an APA format, which is Turabian format. You have to give credit to where you got the information because if you don't, you act like it's all yours. And if he did it intentionally or not, that ain't what I'm that ain't what I'm here to do. But I'm just telling you about when I say scholarship, when my books be right and it's published, I have to tell where that information comes from so you can research it so you can make sure I'm just not pulling stuff out my rear end. <laughs> Scholarship. Come on, man. That's why I said my books can be used on college. T.D. Jakes, some Creflo Dollar. You can't use that. That's not peer review. That's not scholarly research. That's just religion. Period. You can't use that for reference and, and to get no, no degree. Because that's man. I don't care how nobody feels. It's just what it is. I can care less. I'm not here to convert nobody. I'm not here to convert no one. But that's what this book is. The 18 missing years of his life. The 18 missing years. The first one. The unity of life. Death and burial of Elizabeth. Matthias le uh, lessons. The ministry of death. Ministry of the prophet. After the feast. The homeward journey. The missing Jesus. The search for him. His parents find him in the temple. He goes with, he goes with them to Nazareth. Symbolic meaning the carpenter's tool. Chapter 6, Life and Works of Jesus in India Among the Muslims The Friendship of Jesus and Lamas Jesus explained to Lamas the meaning of truth Chapter 8, Jesus revealed to the people of the sinful ways Chapter 9, Jesus attends a feast in Bihar B -E -H -A -R, And here he taught human e equality Huh? He talking about Jesus in this more science Quran Jesus spake on the unity of Allah and man to the Hindus Jesus and Bartha, B-A-R-A-T-A, -A, together they read the sacred books. Come on, man. Jesus teaches the common people at a spring, tells them how to obtain eternal happiness. This is the Morris Science, uh, uh, Morris Holy Quran. Come on, man. We got to teach this law. We talking about Yahshua. We talking about Jesus, the Christ. Come on, man. Life and works of Jesus in Egypt among the Gentiles. The ministry of John, the harbinger or the harbinger. Divine ministry of Jesus. Jesus goes to the wilderness for self-examination where he remains for 40 days and 40 nights. What was he doing? Practice alchemy. He was changing his chemical makeup. Come on, man. 
is subject to three temptations. He overcomes. He returns to the camps of John and begins teaching, 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 teaching. Pilate's final effort to release Jesus fails. He washes his hands in, in innocence. Pilate didn't want nothing to do with that. Deliver Jesus to the Jews for execution. The soldiers drive him to Calvary. All about the all about Yahshua. Jesus appears fully materialized before Apollo and the silent brotherhood in Greece appeared to Claudius and Gillette on Tiber near Rome appears to the priests in the Egyptian temple at Helosophus. Come on, man. How you want me to give you more? The resurrection of Jesus. Pilate places the Roman seal upon the stone door of the tomb at midnight. A company of the silent brothers march about the tomb. The soldiers are alarmed. Jesus teaches to the spirits in prison early Sunday morning. He rises from the tomb. Come on, man. This cold, this English. This English. And I hear more brothers talking about separation. Come on, man. Y'all better stop lying to the people. This is the Quarian Gospels as well. This also goes on the missing years of Jesus' life. By, by, by Levi. I mean, research it. Well, here you go. Same thing, I just went over to the more science Quran. Birth and early life of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Birth and infancy of John, the harbinger of Jesus. Education of Mary and Elizabeth in Zoan. Childhood and early education of John, the harbinger. Childhood and early education of Jesus. Life and works of Jesus in India. Life and works of Jesus in Tibet and Western India. Life and works of Jesus in Persia. Life and works of Jesus in Assyria. Life and works of Jesus in Greece. His works in Egypt. The Council of the Seven Sages of the World. The Ministry of John the Harbinger. The Christine Ministry of Jesus. Introduction to the Epoch. The First Annual e uh, Epoch of Christian Ministry of Jesus. I mean, I can go on and on. Come on, man. Come on, man. So, I'm going. I told you about the book Gad and the Seer, and I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you some of the books that was, that was took out the Bible. Ask your pastor. Written by God, Seer of King David, about 1000 BC. This book of prophecy is recommended reading by the Bible, but was never included in the canon. Who is canon? Some Europeans that tell you that the books ain't right. Yeah. Westernized pseudo academia. It was thought to have been lost over the millennia ago. The book of Gad, Nathan, Nathan, Aja, Shemaiah, and Edo are referenced as the Lost Five. This long lost book includes revealed sermons given by King David. We have a prophecy that outlines the end times beginning with the rapture, the seven year tribulation, and the establishment of Christ's millennial reign. More intriguing than that, it actually reveals who Mystery Babylon is and how it tries to destroy the Jews through a union with Islam. Through a union with Islam, both groups have different replacement theology uh, religions. There are also two discussions on how the law of Moses views Gentiles. Do they keep the law or not? This is an eye opener if you're interested in Bible prophecy and the Masonic law and the Masonic Judaism. So I'm going to give you some books that they took out the Bible and left on you, left out. And somebody tell you, well, it ain't canon. And I'll be like, yeah, okay. Okay. But I can't read everything to you, so I'm going to give you the books. Ancient post-flood history. Do I got that one? Yep, I got a couple, right? I got some here. I didn't want to bring it all out. Ancient, uh, ancient post-flood history. Historical documents that point to biblical creation. All Ken Johnson books. This is a Christian timeline of ancient post-flood history based on biblical chronology. The early uh, church fathers in ancient Jewish and, and secular history. This can be used as a companion guide in the study of the creation science. Come on, man. You got to know. It tell you who were the pharaohs in the times of Joseph and Moses. When did the famine of Joseph occur? What Egyptian documents mention these? When did the exodus take place? When did the kings of Egypt start being called pharaoh and why? Come on, man. We got to stop playing. Ancient Cedarones. 2000 euro scroll reveals the chronologically from creation through Cyrus decree that freed the Jews in 536 BC. The ancient cedar owns uses biblical prophecy to prove its calculations of the timeline. We have used the technique to continue the timeline all the way to the reestablishment of the nation of Israel in AD. Not know after death. I mean, in the day 1948. I'm telling you, you got to know your pastor should know Gematria. 
That's the, that's the squad, Kabbalistically style. You have to know how to, the numbers in the Bible to tell the prophecy. If your pastor don't know, he just up there spitting and polyparoting. Flat out. Ancient prophecies revealed the 500 prophecies listed in order of when they fulfill the ancient book of Yasher, referenced in Joshua 10, 13, 2 Samuel 1 and 18, 2 Timothy 3 and 8. Pre-Rex, pre-Rex, pre-Rex. There are 13 ancient history books that are mentioned and recommended by the Bible. The ancient book of Yasher is just one. It's research Joshua 10 and 13 and 2 Samuel 1 and, 3, and 1 and 18 and 2 Timothy 3 and 8. It tells you, didn't you read this in the book of Yasher? <laughs> he like, I thought you knew this. Ancient prophecies revealed. The 500 prophecies listed in order of when they were fulfilled. Oh, you ain't know? 500 biblical prophecies in the chronological order. The pre-flood times through the first coming of Jesus, which is Yahshua, and into the Middle Ages. Yeah. Yeah, man. We act like we don't know. Third Corinthians, the ancient Gnostics and the end of the world. The third Corinthians, ancient paganism, the sorcery of the fallen angels, the rapture. Mm -hmm. Ancient epistle of Barnabas, his life and teachings, the ancient church fathers, what the disciples of the apostles taught. Ancient book of Daniel, the ancient epistle of John and Jude. Ancient Messianic festivals and the prophecies they reveal. Ancient word of God. Cults and Trinity. Ancient book of Enoch. Ancient epistle of Timothy and Titus. Fallen angels. The ancient book of Jubilees. The Gnostic origins of Calvinism. The Gnostic origins of the Roman Catechism. Demonic gospel. The pre-flood origins of astrology. The end times of the church fathers. Just to name a few, man. You must know, man. You must know. A brother asked me about the misscale. I told you, my brother and sister, when my when my misscale cross come, we were the first ones to read across, researched what the M-E-S-K-E-L is. That's what Hosea 4 and 6 said. My people are lost due to a lack of knowledge. Why? Because we refuse to learn. Ethiopians celebrate Misco, the festival commemorating the discovery of Christ's cross. Research this knowledge, family. Get into the know. Get into the know. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you some real history of this more science of what it's all about. We are law abiding, we are law abiding citizens, man. This is no spookism. This is no male's club. This is no male club. You are not Negro. You are not color. You have a nationality. You have a spirituality. That's why you only consider a three-fifth of a man or a woman until you know your nationality and your religion, which is your spirituality. I love you all. Shalom Alakim, Aya Asha Aya, Amen, Amen Ra, Ashe, 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 Love, Truth, Peace, Freedom, Justice, Health, and Wealth. Shalom Alakim.